Hi, it's Mary Kay with MKK Kay's Artful Journey. How is everybody today? So I have created um, some art for us to do during our 30-day uh, art series. And so what I'm going to do is um, build um, some pages. Like I've been building these um cards here for um, journals so I'm going to do that some more but you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over because we could journal on the lines on this so I'm going to flip this over and do it on the opposite side so that we can it would be a little easy you know what I mean so that we have a clear slate there anyways um, I fussy cut out these images and and to just get rid of the the stark whiteness I'm just gonna to distress the edges it's funny because I was telling somebody you know they were making these little dress forms and I says, I can't wait to, they, she said, I'm sorry I'm taking so long. And I says, I can't wait till you get to the dis distressing part. And she's, she didn't understand. <laughs> so this is distressing. When you change the edge of your, your um, image by um, dusting it with some ink, that's called distressing. Anyway, so I I left the the um, show in, because it was a live show, and I said I'm gonna go de-stress. And they're sorry. They said I'm sorry we made you stressed. <laughs> they didn't get my wordplay. Oh well, life happens, right? <laughs> okay, so I know I had some words over here. Huh. I thought they were in a in a tub that I had over here. I never have anything where I want it to be. Of course not. That would be too easy, right? To have it all organized and ready to go. I could have sworn there were some words over there though. Oh well, I have um I do have words. I have these words there. They've been distressed. Um, let me see if I have any positive words. Double jointed, double header, double cross, double bass, dormant, dormanting, um, donkeys, donor, doodle, doodle bug, ooh, doodle bug, um, domain, dome, domestic on this one exhaust exhale exert exertion exhibit execute excusable excursion well I don't think there's any good words there <laughs> Ooh, but maybe here these are Bible words let me see some of them are made into Oh, this one's the true light of the world. Oh, not really what I'm looking for. I just want some positive words, but that's okay. What we'll do is we'll just write them ourselves. So I'm going to glue this down here. Okay. After I clear off the glue thingy and I'm going to just glue this down. So today I've got plans. I'm going to go yard sailing with um, some friends and so I made a list of the yard sales in the area getting a little organized. So I think 
how it should well it kind of raises it up a little bit that's kind of cool and yeah I just don't want it to um, come up come up you know and rip because that happens now these are images that um, you know sometimes you can type in like butterflies or moths or whatever into the computer and pictures come up and sometimes you can print them because they're free you know they're free pictures to print so that's what I did and um, we're just gonna write a word in here what what can we write let's see here um my favorite word to use is fantabulous oh but you know what i got these really cool gel pens for three dollars and 99 cents i think i've gotten these before and they have run out really quickly <laughs> i mean i got a bigger version but they did still they still only have the same little amount in there which I thought was funny. I guess I'm going to use a different color. Because this is like blacks and browns and oranges. So I'm going to use this brown. And my fav favorite word is fantabulous. It's a word I kind of constructed out of two words. I'm sure it's been around forever. It was somebody probably made it before me. But you know you can. So another word that I've I've created two words is butamus. And um, I guess I want that to be darker. Maybe this one a little bit bigger. Don't forget to spell your word right. <laughs> Fantab you. L O U S. This is the hardest one to to make bigger without distorting it. Fantabulous. So fantabulous, butamus. Um, oh, I can't remember my other words. It's too early in the morning. <laughs> it's too early in the morning. It's going to make that a little more distinct. Oh, my friend called me extraordinaire, so extraordinary, but extraordinaire. So, there we go. There's one. You could just make a whole bunch of these. I like that yellow butterfly. But I also um, got this. Somebody had made a journal, and I like the, the images. As long as you don't sell their images... You're probably okay using them. Um, even though they're not copyright, they're artist right. You know, I mean, artist rights. Artists have rights. And you should always... Um, what I should have done is um, gotten her name. So I could tell you who created this. Um, but I forgot to do that. Get her name. But these are really, I love bees, and I want to do a journal, a bee journal. And I don't usually sell my journals because I don't sell them because I make them with God's love. And, and there's people that just need journals. You know, and in their life. And I just, 
just think that it's important just to create. Maybe one day I'll, in my life I'll sell them or maybe they'll just be famous. You know? Uh, let's see here. So this one I'm going to write. I'm going to use a black theme. writing before it's like that you have so much more control right there's not enough work enough room for beautimus be you be you to us um be humble let's do that one i like humble We'll just do them skinny. See, and if I want to add a little bit of stuff to them, I could just do it on one side. That's what, you know, I always had a hard time um, with calligraphy in that. But this, I learned this from this one lady, I can't think of her name, but um, where you just draw your letters and then build on them. It makes perfect sense. Perfect sense to build on them and create some wonderful letters so be humble so let me just check my time and see how many more i can do i hope i got another 10 minutes so let's see here i have some bird ones so let's see here some birds couple birds here like three maybe three birds and I could just distress this or just cut it I don't mind cutting could do a little distressing and this is um, twigs, um, and it's um, Tim Holtz, of course, and it's um, the oxide, distress oxide. I have the twigs um, where it's not distress oxide, where it's just regular distressing ink. Problem is, you get it all over your hands, <laughs> and you look like you, I don't know, I don't know what you look like. So, anyway, so we're just going to put these birds, so I'm going to clean my ear, and I'm going to glue this on, and we're going to glue it the other way, I think. So simple because you can just do it right down the middle and create a nice little play for them to sit on. I guess I could move it down a little bit. I guess I'm just going to. This one I could cut off a little bit. I'm 
just do it right there. Or you, and you don't you can do them up and down. They don't have to be all together. So do one like this. Maybe one like red or is it one going the other direction? They're all going the same direction. I'm just gonna trim his feet. one high and let's go let's do this one over here and do this one a little bit higher maybe this one a little bit lower one like this one there like this and this one right in the middle that'll work and but I need to leave enough room to write so just put some glue on it and see what happens. Think about what we're going to write. We're going to do this one over this way. Because I think I'm going to write up there. And I'm going to do like this. There we go. Oh, we could say Twitter pated. <laughs> um, I've been tweeted well. Tweet. Tweet me nice. Um, oh my goodness. How about just peace? And I don't know what I'm going to do a different color. Oh, we'll just do friends. Friends. simple as that. Alright. That's number three, right? One, two, three. There's a butterfly. Fantabulous. Be humble. And friends. Friends. The two of us. One on the right. I'm going to read a little bit from the from this book here. Um, let's see here. How about dreams? Enjoy what you have rather than desiring what you don't have. Just dreaming about nice things is meaningless, like chasing the wind. Echinacea 6-9. I'm sorry, I can't read it. Echelasius 6 9. Um, the world is fading away along with everything that people crave. But anyone who does what pleases God will live forever. 1 John 2 17. And it says, your dreams are crushed. I cry out, my sp splendor is gone. Everything I had hoped for from the Lord is lost. Yet I dare to hope when I remember this. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. And that's, oh gosh, my eyes are not reading it. It's Lam, Lamatine, P 
three eighteen twenty one through twenty three. Never heard of that for that um, chapter. I have to look these up. Whenever you read something out of a book that is not actual God's Bible or word, the Word, you should always look it up. So I don't have my Bible in here with me. Otherwise, I would look it up. But I will look it up and um, check it out. So I'm going to put a paper clip on this. And look at that. And find it in the Bible. So here's the... Just so if you want to research it, there's the um, the different things. So anyways, um, everybody have a blessed day. And um, I'm going to go do my garage selling. And I'm saying a prayer before I go that I don't spend on stuff I don't need. Because there's a lot of that I don't need. Um, especially in my craft room. I had a dream about that. So anyways, um, everybody have a blessed day. Oh, and look, look what's on this dream. <laughs> and thank you again for sharing your time with me. Bye.